Take him at his word. Take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know. I can rest on his promise in spite of what anybody says. I got a promise. Just to know. The Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you, how I prove it more and more. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, pray.
I'm going to come against the demonic spirit to tell you that straight up. If you do it, you're lost. There is no salvation in that because what you have done is you have taken into your hands what God only has. Can I help somebody here? Put that on you too. See, you got to get real with the devil. You got to tell the devil just smack dead and look at him in the face and say, that's what it is. something today. I got one of my dad's books and I was reading it, Brother Kennedy, and I said, my God, why in the world did I get this book? Because this book is too deep. You ever read a book that you don't understand nothing in it? <laughs> so theologically deep that you sit there and say, now why did I pick this book? I need that elementary book. <laughs> but in the book, it said something about reconciliation. Reclaim, reconciliation, and sanctification. Okay. Okay. He jumped out the pages to me because it was a deep theologian, theologian that was writing this. He said that you cannot effectively reconcile when you're doing the same thing you did before you re. Yes. You're right. Yeah. 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 It is not true reconciliation. Yeah. I wish I could help somebody. I said, Lord, why did you have me read this today? He said that you cannot truly come before God's people clean and say that I'm sorry and then go back and do the same thing. Sanctification also is not for God, but it is for, for the people to see that you have changed your life. People need to see leadership walking upright and holy before y'all ain't said not only before God but before the people when I was reading this when I was reading this I don't know why I'm doing this y'all trust me you on good ground I mean, I, you on good ground this. one of the things the exposure of the leader the exposure of the leader being honest with his flock being transparent in front of his flock Everybody in my choir tell you, I get up in front of them and I just get naked. I don't try to get up there and try to act all holy than that. I tell them that I have faults and I've had past situations and issues and that there are people who got their mouth on me. This is good for somebody in here. Whenever you get transparent, not only before God, having all you owe the people that you're following, that's following you to be real with them and watch them watch you change the first thing is when you change in your house then you change in your community people need to know that the same thing that went on down the street is not This is worship. Yes, it is. Kenneth opened up a can of worms in here. Because this is the season for transparency. Speak that. To be real. I agree. I agree with you, my If God already knows what we're doing behind closed doors, we're not fooling him. So who are we fooling? are the people of God yeah. to walk as people of God. Yeah. Can I help somebody in here? There was an atheist who had been an atheist for 50 years and he finally came to Christ and they said, what took you so long for coming to Christ? He said, well, if I had not met the Christ before I met the Christian. I would have been Followed the Christ. I wish I had something. If I just had a choir who walked upright, who what a song they live when they left the building. Oh, it's relevant in here. Oh, it's relevant in here. It's real in here. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. 
said, I owe you something. And it's not an apology. I owe you to live right in front of you. Because the devil wants me to fail. So you can see failure on me. So if I fail, he will help. Oh, y'all ain't saying something. He will try to cause you. You just caught this word, and when you left here, you just started doing right. Yeah. Holiness is right. You talk and holiness is not a denomination. It is not what it, it is not exclusive to the church of God in Christ or to the apostolic. It is for the believer. Right there, now. It is for the believer to be holy and sanctified. The Lord says, I will sanctify, watch this, I will sanctify you before the people. It's some people who really, guess what? It's some people who are right about you. It's some people who are correct about you. It's some people who sit in your concerts that are looking up there and say, I can't receive because. It's some people who come to mind and say, I can't receive because. I remember when. I remember when life was so simple. But God is calling us to another level. And when he's calling you to another level, check this out. Everybody who wants to go, everybody who wants to get a CD, everybody who wants to get a single and go to this next level, I'm telling you right now, if you go to this next level, or when you go to this next level, the sheets are going to be taken off of your ministry. And if you don't want the skeletons in your closet exposed, don't put your CD out. That's for the nation. something. Everybody's up here wondering they say, why is worship, why is the CD taking so long to come out? It's not a it's not a company thing. The company they don't have a problem. Hmm. Uh -huh. come on. Why is it taking so long? Because God says the anointing that is on the songs of this album oh my. does not line up with your ministry. Yeah. I'm talking about worship. I gotta get some people who are ready for the promised land. So people had to die off. So people had to die off at Jordan before you cross over. There's some stuff in you that's gonna have to die. Why am I doing this in here? There's some stuff that's gonna have to die off before you get exposed. And God says you are too risky. To risk it and let you become a star man. And do you know a star is nothing but matter in the sky that the sunlight bounces off of at night? Oh, you gotta have a sunlight. Come on. You gotta have. You have to have. You have to have the light of the sun. Watch this. Matter in darkness. Space matter in darkness that the sun reflects off of and people see it at night. Do you know there are so many people in their night moments? Man, you preach! They are in their night moments. It's people in here right now in their night moments. And you think you are a star because what? You're nothing but matter. That the Lord allowed his light to bounce off of you. What a word, sir. What a word. See the glory. Every singer, I feel this right now. I feel this right now. We ain't going into this We ain't going to wait. We're going to do it in August. Come on. 
Because whenever there's a clarion call for musicians and minstrels to come together, you don't wait because I don't know who's going to make it. Next. But I want to see those who are real, those musicians, those singers, those choir members, because your know, leader could be right, but you as a background singer could be wrong. There could be achings in your camp. See, help me here. Those of you who say, God, I'm ready to turn this thing around. I'm going to give you a sign. God has sent angels to sing with your group. Whether you're a corral, a group, a three-piece, a three-piece in a biscuit, it's still good when you're hungry. Y'all ain't saying that. Everybody in here who wants to go to the next level, everybody won't. I know everybody's going to come up here, but it's a requirement on the level. God says to clean up your life. And see, you need the Holy Ghost to give you strength to keep you clean. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. But those of you who say, I want to take my ministry to the next level, your gift and callings go without repentance. He's not going to apologize for giving you the gift of sin. He's not going to be oh, it's, it's, it's a somber spirit in me. Doc, you have tapped into something. Those of you who real, who said I want to go to the next level, and this is for Jackson because you are in here. You're taping this, I hope for you too. Amen. And if you are looking on YouTube, you can just stand at your computer and you can do it and, and guess what? God will change it around. He will turn it around so that tomorrow you will get a phone call from, a, guess what, somebody who will plant a seed into your ministry. And guess what, everything that you've been praying for will come into your hand. If a ministry in here who's serious about going to the next level, I beg you to run down to this altar and don't tell it. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Do you know what that means? That means you're going to have to clean your Facebook page up. You're going to have to be careful what you put on Instagram. God, I'm talking about integrity in social media. Am I getting any help? I don't need your help. I got the Holy Ghost right now. The Holy Ghost is convicting you. You got to learn how to control your temper. Even with your own members. You got to learn as leaders, guess what? How to love your members. If you love your members, your members will take care of you. I ain't talking about money. They will guard you. Two things. If you're reading the book of Genesis, Noah got drunk. I hope I got some prayer warriors in here. I feel it. I hope y'all praying behind me. Noah got drunk. One of his sons decided that they were, he was going to go tell everybody that he was drunk. Daddy drunk. Daddy drunk. Daddy drunk. Daddy drunk. sons knew better. They went and got coat. They didn't go and face him forward. Because in his drunkenness, he became exposed. If your leader die, you die. That's why you got to be careful who you follow. What son or what daughter has the anointing to look and say, I'm not going to even look at it. But I believe in the anointing that is on his life. And I'm going to walk backwards. I'm going to cover him up. And when he sobers up, then I'm going to sit down and have a talk with him. Everybody want to talk about people. The worst thing about it is it's not that people I hear talk, it's when they talk about me. This is just a rehearsal. It's not when you say something.
Because you only go on what you heard. It's when your background starts to Grab each other's hand. Because believe it or not, there is a changing of the God. Come on, speak. Speak. Changing of the God. Seasons are changing. Come on. The winds are blowing. And we must not make the same mistakes of our fathers, of our mothers. The only reason why you're surviving is because God's given you the opportunity to get it right. Come against the curse that is on your life or after your life. You're still here. seen the same people in less than one week. Saw you at the last church. Saw you at the church this morning. What are we going to get tired of seeing the same people? Come on. Amen. Iron should sharpen us. Come on. Amen. That's right. When we come together, it should sharpen us. Yes, sir. It should make us do better. Amen. It should make us be better. Everybody want a choir. Everybody want a ministry. But nobody wants to walk in responsibility. And the funny part about it is, if you're just in it for the glitz, whenever the devil really come after you, because you really ain't making no noise until the devil come after you. If the devil ain't after your ministry, then guess what? You ain't making no racket. He said, oh, never mind. Uh -huh. Never mind him. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Never mind him. Uh -huh. He's not no threat to me. That's right. Uh -huh. But whenever you become a threat, uh -huh. watch out. Jesus. I stand on the promises of God yeah. that I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Yeah. Yeah. Nor on the seed of the righteous yeah. begging bread. Uh, you in the book. Hmm. And these blessings shall follow you. Yeah. You got blessings that are behind you that you uh, don't even know. Uh -huh. And she'll chase you down. Uh, yes, sir. And Come she'll on, overtake you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Let the blessing chase you. Have to get to a place where it's all about ushering people into the presence of God so they can see themselves in the real. Mm. Not to entertain you and be flashy with our suits, mm. with our fancy dresses, mm. with our ability to rift and run. That's a gift that God gives us. Yeah. But if we're not bringing people into the presence on, of God yeah. so they can have a life-changing word, and watch this, lay on the altar and say, what must I do? Even if you in the choir, it's people in the choir that ain't said. That's right. That's right. It's people who built the ark that won on it. Walk in, sir. And I hear somebody. It was not until people got on one accord that they built the wall. They fought with Nehemiah. But it's not until they got it together. And when they got it together, it took them less time. Until this city gets together. Come on. Not everybody want to be the chief. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to be the lead. Tell it. But because I couldn't follow directions, I start my own. Uh -oh. Come on. Now, you got to talk about yeah. somebody. Somebody. I start my own. I start my own. I don't know how to sit under leadership. Go out. Because when you sit under leadership, proper leadership can cover you and get you ready. And when God says move, you move. Just like that. Yeah, 
Chop his head off. Chop his six months. Next thing it turns into four groups. You know I'm speaking. I got the authority to speak in this. Yes, sir. People go to church and just sit in the past for two weeks. And now they got their own little Bible study. <laughs> When you gonna start your church when the Lord says so? Why do you love to come to your church when when He says so? You will hear about it. It's not now. This is not my season. And I'm fine with it. Go on and swim in the deep water. You, you got to be fine with who you are. You got to know where you be. You got to know the season that you walk in. I'm ministering now. Whether I'm a pastor or whether I'm a bishop, I'm ministering now. And I'm talking to some people right now who are right now who you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.